Doesn't that look appetizing? That's the Lunker City Helgi or Helgramite. So it's got a very flexible tail. You can see it's very limp. It's got those little legs, the little arms. And I'm going to show you how you rig it on a 1 16th ounce jig head. I put the light colored belly, which is like a pearl colored, down. I put the hook through the center of it and I run it up about the length of the shaft of the hook. So I want it to be straight. So I'm going to run up about that far and I'm going to push it straight up onto the jig head. So come on, you got to admit, that looks pretty fishy for a fish to grab. Now I fished it mostly today with a float and instead of using a traditional bobber, either made out of plastic or uh, you know, made out of foam, I went with the quill. So the quill is right here. This is the porcupine quill and the way I've attached it is I've taken two small pieces of surgical tubing, one here. So I put the tubing on the line first and then I slide the actual quill in and one up here. So it's very easy for me to remove the quill. All I do is pop it out at both ends. So this quill actually will support a 1 16th ounce jig head perfectly. And what I like about the quills, unlike like a goose quill, it's actually quite heavy. It almost feels like glass in your hands. So when you cast it, it just shoots and cuts right through the wind. And when it's sitting in the water, about that much of it is sticking up. So I'm going to say about one third. And when a fish goes to pull it, because it's actually quite heavy, there's no resistance. So usually you see this and then just disappear. And of course you set the hook. Wow, this is a nice uh, pumpkin seed. He was right on the edge of this deep water because I can't see the bottom here. It's interesting because I was fishing the float and I was using a vertical presentation, that jig going up and down. And it seems almost like they were following it, but very few fish were actually grabbing it. This guy's an overly thick, but he's uh, nice. Look, when he's bigger than your hand, you know, it's a nice panfish. A lot of people call them all sunfish and they are part of the sunfish family. The rock bass, um, the white bass isn't, it's its own family. Yeah, for some reason they like that drop and maybe it's the pink color too, look. Beautiful and lovely release.